eats, shoots, and leaves. Why commas really do make a difference. Author Lynn Truss. Illustrated by Bonnie Timmons. Published by J.P. Putnam Sons. Penguin Young Readers Group. Copyright 2006. You'd better believe commas really do matter. You might want to eat a huge hot dog, but a huge hot dog would run away pretty quickly if you tried to take a bite out of him. Forgetting to include a comma or placing one in the wrong spot can completely change the meaning of a sentence with hilarious consequences. A panda walks into the library. He eats a sandwich, then draws his bow and shoots two arrows. Why did you do that? Asks the librarian as the panda walks towards the exit. The panda shows her a badly punctuated book. I'm a panda, he says. That's what it says we do. The librarian looked at the page. Panda, large, black and white bear, like mammal, native to China, eats, shoots, and leaves. Honk, stop, slow, comma, children crossing. Honk, 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 honk. Slow children crossing. Slow children crossing. Slow children crossing. Go, comma, get him doctors. Go get him, comma, doctors. Hospital, enter there, enter here, enter there. Every day, Anthony turns, slides, and swings. Every day, Anthony turns, slides, and swings. Every day, comma, Anthony turns, comma, slides, comma, and swings. Every day, comma, Anthony turns, slides, and swings. After we left Grandma, comma, Mommy and I skipped about in the park. After we left Grandma, Mommy and I skipped about in the park. After we left, comma, Grandma, comma, Mommy, comma, and I skipped about in the park. After we left, Grandma, Mommy, and I skipped about in the park. Becky teased the boy with the fluffy duck. Becky teased the boy, comma, with the fluffy duck. Becky teased the boy with the fluffy duck. Restroom, gas and food. Eat here and get gas. Restaurant, all you can eat. Today's menu, pork rinds, beanie ice cream, butter beans. Eat here and get gas. Burp. Today, 
sandcastle contest. Becky walked on, her head a little higher than usual. Becky walked on her head a little higher than usual. Look at that huge hot dog. Look at that huge hot dog. Ice cream. The kids who got ice cream were very happy. The kids who got ice cream were very happy. Today's lessons show and tell Miss Perch. Books on her desk. The red shoes swim to me, little ducky. Rules of thumb. The student, said the teacher, is crazy. Today's lesson, fish as friends or fish as food. Homework. One, skip to the loo. Two, hum. Three, kiss a sardine. Four, lick a guppy. Five, swim in a school. Six, repeat steps one through five. Seven, repeat step six. Fish as shoes, swims with fishes. Stupid rules for fish. Those are the books on Miss Perch's desk. The student said, the teacher is crazy. No pushing, please. Ah. No pushing, please. No. I've finally decided to cheer up. Everybody, I've finally decided to cheer up everybody. What is this thing called, honey? What is this thing called, honey? Introduction. Punctuation marks are the traffic signals of language. They tell us to slow down. Notice this. Take a detour or stop. Of all the punctuation marks, the comma is the most used and misused. Commas can create havoc when they are left out or put in the wrong spot. And the results of misuse can be hilarious. This little dot with a tail has the power to change the meaning of a sentence by connecting things that shouldn't be connected or breaking apart things that should stay together. So enjoy laughing at some of the way commas can change everything. Author Lynn Truss. Why these commas really do make a difference. Slow comma, children crossing. The comma separates the two independent phrases, slow and children crossing. Slow children crossing without the comma slow is an adjective that modifies children. Go, comma, get him doctors. The comma separates the two independent clauses, go and get him doctors. Go get him, comma, doctors. This comma makes the go get him a command directed at the doctors. Every day, comma, Anthony turns, comma, slides, comma, and swings. The first comma sets off the introductory phrase every day. The other commas separate the three verbs in the list. Every day, comma, Anthony turns, slides, and swings. Without a comma after turns, the word slides and swings change from verbs to nouns. After we left grandma, comma, mommy and I skipped about in the park. The comma separates the introductory clause after we left grandma. After we left, comma, grandma, comma, mommy 
and I skipped about in the park. The first comma separates the introductory clause after we left. The second connects Grandma in the list with Mommy and I. Becky teased the boy with the fluffy duck. Without a comma, with the fluffy duck modifies the boy. Becky teased the boy, comma, with the fluffy duck. With a comma separating the two phrases, with the fluffy duck describes Becky's action. Eat here, comma, and get gas. The comma separates the two independent clauses. Eat here and get gas. Eat here and get gas? With no comma, this sentence implies one action causes the other. Becky walked on, comma, her head a little higher than usual. The comma makes her head a little higher than usual, modifying Becky. Becky walked on her head, comma, a little higher than usual. With the comma after head, the phrase a little higher than usual modifies the independent clause, Becky walked on her head. Look at that huge hot dog. Without a comma, huge modifies hot dog. Look at that huge comma hot dog. Adding the comma makes the huge and hot coordinating adjectives that both modify dog. The kids comma who got ice cream comma were very happy. The comma set off information that is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. The kids who got ice cream were very happy. Without commas, who got ice cream applies only to certain kids. The student, comma, said the teacher, comma, is crazy. The commas set off the dependent clause, said the teacher. The student said the teacher is crazy. Without commas, the student is the one making the statement. No pushing, comma, please. The comma separates the two independent phrases. No pushing and please. No pushing, please. With no comma, please becomes the noun. I finally decided to cheer up, comma, everybody. The comma separates the independent clause. I finally decided to cheer up from everybody, which notes who the sentence is addressing. I finally decided to cheer up everybody. With no comma, everybody becomes the object of cheer up. What is this thing called? Honey. The comma separates the independent clause. What is this thing called? From the person being addressed, honey. What is this thing called honey? Without a comma, honey is the object of called.